Okay, hello, good evening. Hello, no, Jose. How are you doing? Excellent. Okay, that's nice. Yes. Almost, almost over, huh? The week is almost over. Tomorrow is, what, tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> so we finish another week. Yes. And we begin a new month, the last month of the year, right? So that's also uh, incredible. Only party. Yeah, party time. <laughs> so you have celebrations. Well, and a lot of work too. Because uh, the companies uh, begin with the closing of the of the of the uh, year, right? For the uh, taxes, uh, inventories, and well, many things, right? So all the accounts, and then they had to pay the Christmas bonus. So a lot of work and party. <laughs> Everybody's going to be very very busy. Okay. No, but that's that's the way it is. What are your plans for next year? Uh, I think my words are uh, working. I uh, work in uh, twenty twenty two. 24 hours. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have any special plans for 2024? Vacations, trips? Vacations? Uh huh. <laughs> no vacation. A little. A little. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Hello, Simara. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Oh, great. Just doing fine. How about you? I'm so tired. The day was very, very busy today at work. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay good. Um, and do you have to work all this month or do you, you or you have a vacation? No, I work every day. I just have one day at week. A day off at okay. a week, one day, and my vacations are annual. A annual, yes, yearly. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so you don't have you you don't have vacation now in December. No, just no. a day off, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Okay, so the twenty fifth and the first. The What's twenty the twenty the twenty fifth. Ah. Uh, I don't know to, uh, until now. I don't know uh, how will be the schedule for that day, but I will oh, work okay. one day or 24th or 25th. Okay. Okay, good. That's that's life. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's life. Anyways, okay, good. All right. Hello, Julio Cesar. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was um, Sorry. How was your day? Uh, a little busy, but okay. it's... and tired. Are you tired? Do you feel tired? A little bit. Okay. A little bit. Uh, it. I sometimes I think it's not uh the 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 work the job to to do, but the traffic is oh oh yes. And mm -hmm. today it was today it was a special day, right? Yeah, it was because, because there was there was an accident. There was an accident uh in front of Uka. Uh-huh. Uh and the traffic was so slowly uh yeah. to to my house. Yes. So but uh the people who were who uh who were going to to San Salvador, or uh, they they were stuck. Or yes, yeah, that's true. 
Yeah, I saw the traffic because I was coming from uh, uh let me see yeah from the from Merliot mm -hmm. to Utila then uh and it was around almost near 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 five p.m. So it was approximately that time, and then it was packed both ways uh, to to El Puerto and to uh and to San Salvador as well. So then, okay. but, uh, you know, but it, it it moved right. It wasn't really stuck, but yeah, it was it was heavy. Okay, okay. but that's that's you know uh let's say kind of normal some days, right? <laughs> That we had to deal with all this traffic. Okay. Uh, now we have, we're gonna be watching this video. Now we have Luis Eduardo, Oscar, both Oscars are here. Jenny, Sarah is coming in. Carla, Selena, Melissa and Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Okay, nobody in the chat. Now we have Marlene Elizabeth. It's connected. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Uh, yesterday we we were through with the uh, section three. Today we're going to start with section four, which is um, there is the word behind behind the scene, but you can also say behind, right? Behind the scene or behind the scene. Uh, behind is in the north of uh, the United States. Okay, people, some people will use Chicago, maybe Seattle. Okay, in that area, some people will use maybe um, a behind. But in the in the let's say in the middle and in the south, then people will use more the pronunciation of behind. Okay, so if you listen behind, it's okay. And if you listen to people saying behind, it's also acceptable. Okay, let me see introduct the intro video section. Uh, I'm going to try to play it on YouTube because in, sometimes the image or the sound is not really good just let me set the audio and then uh, pay attention to the topic the grammar structures they are using and then you give me your opinion about this video what you think about uh, they give you a preview of what this section will be about this guy Okay, yeah, could you listen to the audio? Yeah. About. Sure. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good. So let's do it and just let me zoom it and enlarge this one. And here we go. <laughs> My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet, the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. 
I started with the one word, revelations. I look it up in the thesaurus, and I could have ten words then, each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr, I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, it comes through my board, and it's recorded into the computer system here, a multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey, Josh, come on in. Hey, Melanie. Hey. So I've picked the three songs that we're going to use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. At www.matthawks.com. And the song is Revelations. Enjoy. You're about to watch the very. Okay. <clears throat> so what do you think about this video? I mean, the guy play music. <clears throat> what is, uh, for example, would you like to, to write a song? I don't know if you play any musical instruments. Uh, I don't know if you play the guitar the keyboard or the um, a piano or uh, maybe the, the flute what else could it be the um, a, uh, the, the the drums okay uh, the bongos um well many different instruments do you play any musical instrument people anybody no, in my case, uh, I don't play any any instrument, but you know, uh, for example,
some reason I would like to learn uh, to, to play the drums and the guitar and uh, the piano, but it's just a, a dream. Well, uh, you never know, right? But sometimes dreams come true, right? So you might have a chance and then you will probably say, okay, I'll take it. And then you will. So that is something that we never know about the future. Okay, great. Uh, for example, the guy gets inspired. I have heard that, well, I don't know much about music or these guys. It's just things that I have read sometimes in articles, news, or when I listen to a podcast or maybe on the radio in an interview when they said that some people who who compose music, they uh, sometimes for some of them is it's not easy. For some others, it's very easy. And some people prefer to first, they write the song, they write the lyrics. And after they compose the music. Uh, for some other people, it's the opposite. First, they, you know, have the music, all the arrangements and everything. And after, you know, they they write the song, they write the lyrics. So I think it all depends on, uh, since these are feelings, maybe it depends on what they feel, how they, uh, what they like, right? Because sometimes if you write a romantic song, that's because you're feeling in that, that is your mood. If you're probably writing something more like rock, pop rock, probably that is the mood of the moment. Okay, so uh, let me see what else. Anything else that you detected in the video? Something that got your attention? A word maybe or a phrase? Teacher, for, for, for example, just, just a question. When, when the musician takes his, his son to the radio station. Uh -huh. So uh, the radio station director, uh, she's supposed to to listen to that song to, so that they can know if uh, it can be filtered to, to play it on, on the station. Correct. Yes, that's correct. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess that, you know, I have, I have seen some movies, right, in which uh, if the musician or or band want to uh, uh, play a song or something sometimes they need to have some connections right and then uh, when they have this uh, connection sometimes you they also have to bribe give money to some uh, uh, radio stations to to play their music I mean it's kind of business right uh, in other cases, there are some other probably radio stations that maybe they are uh, not so popular. And then they say, okay, good. They listen to the song, they like it, they play it. And then probably other people or other radio stations listen to that song and say, hey, that's a good one. And then, you know, this is how uh, the, the music starts spreading, okay, extending. So, I guess, uh, I don't know how they work, but yes, they definitely they have to listen to it first. They are like the filter, right? If they say yes, it goes. If they say no, it doesn't move. So do you think that that's the, that's the, that's the real uh, way that, uh, that occurs at the state that they uh, chart charge uh, the musician to, to play his uh, song in the station? Is, is that well, real? Well, no, uh, that well, what I have seen in uh, what I have seen in some movies, you know, that's what happens. If it is a, a reality, I don't know, right? Uh, I don't know, but uh, that's what, you know, what some movies uh, show, right? That when they tell the story of a, of a singer. But uh, I guess that it shouldn't be like that, right? Uh, because I also know, and this is something that I really know, is that sometimes the, the musicians or the bands go to a radio station, 
they have an interview and then they they give the CD or the song to the to the radio manager and then they listen and they say, okay, I'm going to play it. And just like that, right? So they don't have to, to uh, let's say, pay for anything because it shouldn't be like that, right? Okay. Well, what that, mm -hmm. To be an opportunist, you know, to charge music for that. Exactly, exactly. That's correct. Okay, just let me, I'm going to close the... This window because it's not charging properly. Yes, and I'm going to charge it again. Okay, so now then uh, we're going to go to the next topic. The next topic has to do with the passive voice. Okay. Well, while this thing is loading, I will show you the the material for For the passive voice. Do you remember the passive voice? Who remembers about it? And what do you remember? Nothing. Nothing comes to my head at the same time. Okay, I'll show you. Maybe when you see the uh, the information, you might remember. Okay, do you remember now? Okay, remember that the passive voice uh, is not a tense, right? Passive voice is not a tense. It's just a different way to say things. And then we have the active voice and the passive voice. Uh, the active voice is what we we normally or we usually use. Okay, when uh, when you say, for example, the here you say the hunter killed the lion. And then you want to emphasize the hunter. So the focus, the attention is here when you're talking about the hunter. But if you want to emphasize the lion, then you say the lion was killed by the hunter. So the, this expression here is the passive voice, where you have the subject the hunter, in the second sentence is the object, right? So you say the lion was killed. Who killed the hunt? The who killed the lion? The hunter. So it was killed by the hunter. Someone has cleaned the windows. The windows have been cleaned. 
Okay, now, sister, to to refresh your memory. Now, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about working in the movies using passive. Okay, the passive form. Okay, I'm going to... Teacher, one doubt. Excuse me. Before yes, you, go, you go ahead. Go ahead. When it comes to it comes about to this section, uh, I mean, I have a doubt. If, if you, uh, it supposed that you need to fill uh, filling uh, up uh, something right there when it says uh, at a uh, publication. Uh, I was I wasn't sure about that because when I when I was uh, doing these exercises. Uh, it, it it didn't appear that uh, I was uh, uh, I was completing this one hundred percent. It seems this like uh, it, it was missing something. Ah, uh, this part I, I was it was not clear for me. What do you suppose that you need to do this? But uh, here you have to write, for example, sentences uh, according to the to the topic. For example, here if you're going to write, it's going to be about the passive. Okay, you can write a question or a sentence about the passive, right? So like the ones that we have here, you can say the uh, the lion okay, was killed by the hunter. Okay, so they, they, they suggest what you have to write and then you write something according to the to that topic it could be a question it could be a, a a sentence affirmative sentence or negative sentence it depends on what you are requested to write and then you have to send it okay and then you have to wait and here it is passive the lion was killed by the hunter. Okay, and then you can, and I can continue, you know, adding more sentences. Probably, uh, let's say, the book was written by a young girl. Okay. Sometimes so, they does it mention how, how how many you need to write down? Oh uh, no, it depends. Uh, if the if they require the request, if you want, uh, if they said okay, write three sentences or as as many sentences as you want. So then you write that. If it is only one, only one. Okay. The, this box is created to, uh, to to have some written practice, right? So then you have here, look, the lion was killed by a young girl. Uh, the lion, the book was written by a young girl and the lion was killed by the hunter. So you can write here and I can continue doing the same, right? Five, four, six, seven sentences. And you always write, the topic, right? All right. So that, that they go to the same to the same box. Okay, I just have a little problem with the with the video of the platform is it's very slow.
Okay, I just wanted you to see the how the the conversation goes. But in this moment, it doesn't work. Okay, so then let's continue with the the same idea is with the passive form, right? So in the video, you are going to different different sentences, but you have to see this. Now, how do you construct the passive voice? Okay, for example, what you have here, you have the subject, okay, in the active sentence, the subject. And after the subject, what do we have? Verb and past part. We have the verb, okay? It could be present, past, future, a present perfect, the tense, it doesn't matter, right? It could be any tense. Here is in past tense. They say the hunter killed. And after, after the bear, you have an object. That's why it says here, transitive verbs have both active and passive. Okay, that's why kill can be used here as an active and passive. The transitive verbs are the verbs uh, in which you can use or after which you can use the uh, a noun, right? An object. For example, if I say uh, the hunter kill, kill what? In this case, the lion. The hunter kill the tiger. The hunter kill the deer, the reindeer. Okay, so you can use a noun after the verb. Then with this construction, with this structure, then if you see here, the lion, that is the subject, the object, now is at the beginning and is the subject of the sentence. And we have to use a form of the verb to be. Okay, a form of the verb to be. Okay. Uh, Jose, tell me a sentence. Tell me a sentence. Okay. Uh -huh. the, the snake. The snake. Yes. The snake. Um. Killed the mouse. <laughs> Killed. Yes. Or, or eight. Yes. Okay, let's say eight. Eight the mouse. Okay. So then here we have subject. Okay, what is the subject? The snake. The snake. Then you have the verb. Eight. Okay, so you have the verb. Okay, good. And then you have the? Object. The object. All right. And this is active or passive? Active. It is active, okay? Okay, so you have an active order. Now, what happens if we want to change the sentence to? 
passive. The passive. Uh -huh. What do we do? We take the verb with the past participle. Ah, uh -huh, but we take no. what? No, there are... First, we, we need to put the object. Ah, uh -huh, we take the object. First, the mouse. Okay, the mouse. Okay, and here comes the, here comes the magic. We have to use the verb to be. Was. Always. Okay. Why was? Because the mouse is the third person. No. Because yeah, yeah, yes, yes, but what is the main reason? It is singular. Yes, that's correct. But there is another reason, more important than that. I guess in addition is because the action was made already. Mm. It's in the past. Yeah, that's yeah. the word. It's in past. Because we are using the verb in past. Okay? I want to show you after one in present. So here we use was. You were correct. Was. And then the what is the past participle of the verb eat? Eaten. 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 Okay, so the mouse was eaten by the snake. By the snake. By the, snake. the snake is the doer of the action, okay? Is the actor in this case, right? Or actress? Because she was the one who, who did the action, the snake. Okay, but in the first sentence, we put the emphasis here, the snake. So you want the people to pay attention to the snake. Okay. So we're going to emphasize in this moment, the snake. And in this case, we are going to, to victimize the mouse, <laughs> okay? So then we want to put the emphasis on the mouse. And they said the mouse was eaten. Oh, here I am missing. Oh. I'm missing the word by. By the snake. Okay. So now we have subject. Okay, we always have subject, verb, and object, but the actors change. Okay, here the subject is a snake, and this one in the passive voice is in the passive voice. This is okay, this is what. was eaten and the object is the snake. Now, I'm gonna copy it all, copy all. Now we copy this one here. Okay, what happens if I want to uh, say this is a uh, okay wait a minute this is simple simple present simple past okay but now i want simple present what changes do, you, do i have to make the bear this one is going to be Change the bear. Yes, it it. Okay, it. First change. Okay, the snake and third person. The third person. The snake. 
Piren, it is. It is. It is. Okay. Present. The snake eats the mouse. Subject, verb, object. Active. In the past, in the passive voice, we say the mouse. Is, uh, is it is eating? Uh -huh. The mouse is is. Can I say it's been eaten? A uh, that would be it present. Per yeah, but that would have to change the other one in present perfect. Oh, okay. Uh huh. But yes, you can say it, but not in this one, right? You say the mouse is eaten by the snake. Peter, I have a question, because I thought that in present perfect, we need to add the auxiliary have, right? Exactly. Mm, have, have, have or has, yes. Yeah, but in this situation, I remember that it, the period said the verb being, not have, or in this situation. That's why the, um, I was wondering about it. I, I, I'm confused for the present perfect. Uh, no, yeah, but this is simple present. Okay. That's why that's why we are using it's it is eaten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not, uh -huh. This is nothing to do. Okay, when we are talking about the a uh, passive voice, I told you this is not a tense. The passive voice is a different form to say things. Then and you can use all the verb tenses. If you see, I have simple past, then I have simple present. Uh I can also use here. If, um, what tense do you want to use? Tell future, me a tense. present. Future? Future, present. Future, okay. If we use future, then we're going to use, say, simple future. Okay. Wait a minute, we're going to. Simple future. And we're going to change this. Okay. Then what are the changes that we have to make? Only the verb. The snake. Will or is going to? Will. Will it, right? I'm going to use will. And then will eat the mouse normal sentence active voice and then in there one the mouse will then we have to use the form of b okay the form of b always if you see here we have was okay here we have uh, was and here we have is for the present so we have to see in the active voice, we have to follow the the verb, the tense, right? If it is present, we're going to use is or are, depending if it is singular or plural. Uh, in the past, we're going to use was or were, depending if it is singular or plural, right? And in this case, will be eaten. It doesn't matter if it is singular or plural, right? Because uh, is only one way. Okay, this is future. Will eat, will be eaten. In the passive voice, we always use the past participle form. Eaten, eaten, okay, and eaten. In the active voice, we have eats, okay, ate, and will it. And what about going to? Oh, so you just change will for going to. Okay, wonderful. Only. Then we have going to, and then you have present. And present perfect. Okay, you can also use the present perfect here. 
can use the black cover. And then what is the present perfect for the snake? It's a present perfect. It's a that's the past participle. That's the past participle form of the verb. How? Oh. Mm -hmm. Now tell me the complete sentence. The snake using the present perfect. Have eaten. Have eaten. Have. Have eaten. Have eaten. Are you sure it's have? No. Has. 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 Is why, why has? As person. Because the name is this, uh, the third person. Yeah, the third person is only one. No. Okay. Now here we use has eaten. Okay. And in the passive voice, hmm. we're going to use the mouse has. Okay. Person perfect. The form of B. Then. And then the past, past, the past form, the past participle form of the verb. The mouse has been eaten by the snake. Okay, and you see, for example, we always have subject, verb, and object. Okay. That's what I told you. You can use the passive voice with other. Then you can also use the past perfect. You can use the progressive. Okay. Is eaten. Uh, for example, the the snake is eaten, eaten the eaten the the mouse. Okay. The mouse is the action is in the moment, right? The mouse is being okay, eaten by the snake, okay, when the action is happening in the moment. Okay, this is the constru the construction, right, of the passive voice. Then you have two forms, active, which is the one that we normally use, and then you have the passive. Now, when do we use the, why, why does the passive voice exist? When is it necessary? Okay, for example, the when we write formal reports. Okay, uh, I think that doctors write, use the passive voice in Spanish, right, Julio? Yep. Your microphone. Sorry, we uh -huh. we usually use uh, the passive voice when yeah. when we do. Uh, papers when you uh -huh. would, uh make uh some um uh, uh some documents mm -hmm. okay for example uh sometimes i read i say la cirugía le fue practica fue practicada right and then yeah. in english you say for example the surgery okay was practiced and then you use that form in english and that's it's more formal, right? Yeah. We, uh, we, uh -huh. we, we the expedient, the, the file, the, file, the, uh -huh. the files. Uh, we have to write all of the uh, all of the what 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 happened during the the process process. Exactly, right. So you will see this, for example, in the police station, the police officers also use the 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 passive voice to write uh, reports, uh, the doctors, uh, uh, places where you need to keep a file in some, uh, well, uh, how do you call this? Uh, uh, lawyers, uh, in some case also, they have to keep the files. They also use professional people. They use a lot the passive voice to write reports and keep the record, okay? Keep the record of the event how things happen, okay? So in those moments, it's more common. It's more, more common, uh, common uh, to use the passive voice. 
also when you want to tell a story of something that happened to you in a kind of formal way, right? For example, the a uh, let's say the three uh, let's say five I don't know five years ago. Uh, this is not true. Okay, it's only a, an example. Five years ago, I had an accident, a car accident, and then uh, I was not conscious for a couple of days, and then uh, I was taken to a hospital. Then I am telling the story of how it happened, right? I was taken the to the hospital by some people uh, that were passing by the location of the accident, okay? Uh, these people, uh, for example, were, okay, uh, my family was informed about my accident by the people in the hospital when uh, when I when I was taken to that place. So you see, when telling a story, also you can use it and then you can give a sequence of your events. Okay, so these are the moments in which the use of the, uh, the use of this is going to be healthy. Now let me, so this thing didn't want to work. He went on the strike. Now we go out. We'll come in again. Um, if something happens with the platform. Okay, I will just show you from here it says the sentences below describe how a movie is made. Complete the sentences using the passive, no capital letters, uh, no period needed. Okay, to complete this script, it has to be divided into scenes. Okay, now taking this sentence, let me see if it allows me to copy it. has to be divided divided okay into scenes okay this is just a, a process on how we could do something we just want to assume it take it to the next okay below okay now can you tell me for example how to if you want to to prepare a cup of coffee, something simple, just in passive voice. And then we say, uh, in order, remember, in order to, uh, in order, uh, come on with this. in order to, Make or prepare the same. To cheer prepare. up my mood, you say. Huh? In order to cheer up, cheer up my mood. No, I mean, in order I, to prepare a cup of coffee. Okay. First. First, we need. Oh no, okay, here comes the possibilities. First what? What would be the first step? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you don't, I mean, 
you will see, for example, the the objective of this exercise now is that you see when is it when it is possible to use the passive voice and when it is not possible, or when it sounds more logical and when it doesn't sound logical. Okay, what is the first step to make a cup of coffee? Think. Okay, if I'm going to make a cup of coffee for me, what do you do first? Boil the water. What happened with the water? The complete sense, the complete idea. The water has to be boiled? Okay, first, you say first, the water, okay, has to be okay boiled okay there are other ways to say this right the water has to be very hot or hot enough it has to be uh, at a temperature that you like okay so it depends on how you want to say it. but in this case we are practicing the passive voice, right? I tell you that there are other ways just in case you are thinking if this is the only way. No, there are many other ways to say it. Okay, but if you want to, okay, listen, if you want to make a, a, a cup of coffee, first, the, the what? The what? The water. Okay, the water has to be boiled. What else? Oh, teacher yes we we can say that the uh, the 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 coffee has has to be uh poured into hot water after uh-huh okay then then uh the coffee then the coffee has to be uh poor okay poor into hot, into hot water or into the huh? into the hot water into the hot water that we already boiled okay or into the boiled water if you want yeah what can say mm-hmm Okay, first the water has to be boiled. Then the coffee. Okay, the, the coffee has to be poured. Okay, the coffee has to be poured to be, okay, to pour into the hot water. Has to be poured into the hot water. What else? Then the sugar needs to be added. Okay, then the sugar has to be added. Okay. What else? The last, not, not, not exactly the last step or the last um, thing to do, but what is the next one? There is one thing missing, very important. What is that? The coffee has to be mixed. mixed. Okay, the coffee. Okay, no, here we're gonna use something different. The, then okay. finally, so oh, and then okay and then uh -huh. you must Ooh. how do you, how do you say this how do you say this <laughs> no there is another word <laughs> what not mix because mix will be like like shaking uh -huh. twist. Mm, no. There is a word for this. 
Menyar. Who say menyar? Who say menyar? That's the word. That's the word. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Stir. Uh -huh. Stir. Uh -huh. Yeah. You must stir. Uh -huh. Oops. Menyar. Must stir menyar. Okay. That's what we say menyar. I don't know if it is correct. But I say menyar. You must stir it, right? Okay. But yeah, that's you know, this is the mix, right? When we miss it, you must uh, then you have a and then go after, right? And then here we're gonna use so you see, you can also change uh, the word, the sequence words. After, we can use after that, after that, and then uh huh, yes, and then. And then after you can say here, finally. Yes. Finally. Enjoy. Enjoy. Your, cup of your delicious cup of coffee. Okay. So here we have used a very formal way to, to give the recipe instructions. Uh, the description of an activity, how to do something, right? Uh, you know, in order to prepare a cup of coffee, first, the water has to be boiled. Then the coffee has to be poured into the hot water. And you can even say, then the powder coffee, okay? Because we use powder coffee in this case, has to be poured into the hot water. After the sugar has to be added. And then, you must stir it. This is not possible. Okay, the the last two are not possible. And then you must stir it, and finally, enjoy your cup of coffee. Okay. So this is, for example, one uh way to use, and we have used here only perfect, stir. perfect tense forms. Stir. Uh huh. Has to. Has to. Has to. Okay. And then you must stare. It's like a necessity, like an obligation. Is remover, teacher. Uh -huh. remover. Stare. Yes. That, thank you very much. Yeah. But in, in Spanish, it's nice when we say menia, right? So stir the body. <laughs> Shake your body. Okay. So then you say, for example, yes, remover. Yes. That's good. Okay. No questions. Okay, tomorrow uh, I will send you uh, I will send you uh, uh, some information uh, about the passive voice similar to this what we have written today, so that you can have some extra information because the rest of the section we are going to be practicing. Okay, uh, this uh, this kind of information. Please uh, think about something. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know, it's, this is only an example. If you are, for example, uh, a teacher, okay, you can say, okay, uh, in order to teach a class, okay, the, for example, the topics, okay, the topics have, uh, let's say, for example, uh, the topics, and this is in plural, topics have to be organized in a sequential order, okay? Then the activities, I'm going to use must. Must be prepared, okay? This is possible to, right? Must be prepared uh, according to the topic, okay? Uh, the, the students and teacher have to be informed about the topic they are uh, teaching and studying, and so on. Uh, if you are a doctor, probably you can say, for example, what is the a simple procedure for a for a for a little surgery, right? So a, a small surgery. Probably you can explain tomorrow, Julio, how a small surgery is done. Okay, uh, using the passive voice. Uh, I don't know. If, Anybody can prepare, or if you want to cook, how to prepare an egg. Something simple, 
but you know well explained uh, how to how to play soccer or how to kick the ball or how to shoot the ball uh, in basketball for example okay uh first you know the the body the body has to be positioned in the right way in front of the hoop okay the the ball must be bounced okay before you shoot okay and like that we can use some sentences okay so prepare be prepared for tomorrow to describe an activity a uh, something that you do or maybe a uh, some food even how to how to peel an orange como pelar una naranja right <laughs> how to peel an orange whatever two or three sentences here we use one two three four six sentences if you can write i mean you can prepare four or five sentences to explain something you see it doesn't have to be something really uh huge right something really uh big it's just how you explain something with three four five sentence maximum five sentences maximum okay so quickly i'm going to go through the list because time flies with you guys i don't feel the time when i am in this class okay so we have francisco is here no no yes not today oh jose yes tell me you have a question Salino, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Tell me, tell me. Uh, tomorrow I will be working only, okay. only listening. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, if, if you want during the day, you can write something and then you can put it in the chat. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to read it, no problem. And then okay, after I can, I can uh, send you a brief feedback only for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Sure, no problem. Okay, so we have Giovanni is here, right? Hector? Yes, I'm here. Yes, Hector, 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 Hector. He's here too. Yes, yeah. yes, I saw it. Ivan, Ivan, Ibrahim, he told me that he was going to be listening. Yes. Hey, Joel? Joel, Joel? I hear teacher. George Alberto. Present teacher. Yes, Jose Lino, yes, is here. Julio Cesar is here. Carla Selena, yes, it's Carla, 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 is here. yes. Yeah. Carla Rene, yes, always here. Catherine Lisbeth. Present teacher. Yes, Catherine is there. Luis Eduardo. Present okay. teacher. Marlene. Melissa. Marlene, yes. Yes, Marlene. Melissa. Present. Uh, Michelle. Who's my friend Michelle? It's not here today. Neftali. Present. Okay. Yes. Oscar Abdulio and Oscar yes, Vladimir. Oscar Present. Vladimir. Yes. Oscar Alexander. Present. Present. Yes, both. I no problem. Oscar Abdulio and Oscar Alexander. Romeo Vladimir, yes. Present. Sara? Present. Sofia? Present. Okay, Wendy is here. Wendy, Xiomara? Present. And Jenny? Jenny, Jenny, Jenny? No, huh? Okay. Tomorrow I'm going to give you some tips about listening too, okay? So please, I'm going to bring, uh, we're going to talk about how to practice and answer listening exercises. Okay, people, have a very good night. Sure, by the way, I remember that I saw Jenny. Probably something went wrong already, but she was here. Yes, no, yes, she was here. That's what I, I, I got it on the list. No problem. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. I, uh, I always check before, so and I, I got it in my, in my image. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.